Hey, you guys, and welcome back to Black Tea Blog. All right, you guys, let's talk about this breaking news that just hit the internet. So Megan Thee Stallion, okay, is suing Milagro Grams, also known as Mob Radio, for being a mouthpiece and puppet for Tory Lanez. Now, you guys know these two women do not have a good relationship. If it wasn't Megan Thee Stallion allegedly dissing Millie in her songs, it was Milagro Grams standing 10 toes down about the Tory Lane's investigation. And it does seem Megan, well, she's saying that she's had enough. Now, in this lawsuit, and we're going to break down some of the information, Alex Spiro, who is Megan's lawyer, is accusing Milago Grams of carrying out a public campaign to denigrate, belittle, insult and spread false claims about Megan. Now they are saying that Millie was doing this on behalf of Tory Lanez, which is alleged. There is no proof or any type of certainty that Milago Grams is doing anything for Tory Lanez. So I want to make that clear. They're also saying this. The blogger is accused of going as far as to share a deep fake video depicting Megan Thee Stallion pretty much in a very tight situation. You guys know I have to say this for YouTube. It was pretty much a P video and Megan is saying that she felt humiliated that Mob Radio shared this. Remember, all of these allegations are alleged. Until we get to court, we don't know what they are going to present. And on top of that, people forget that Milagro Grams, she has every right to countersue. And we don't know what things may have happened behind the scenes, which could give her countersue if she decides to file that some heavy weight. So we don't know which way this could go. Now, in the court documents, this is pretty much what Alex Piro is saying about Millie. Milagro Grams spread false statements for no other reason than to bully, harass, and punish Megan Thee Stallion for Tory Lane's conviction and to tarnish her reputation, causing emotional distress. The lengths at which Millie decided to go after Megan knows no bounds. For example, she has gone so far as to share a video of Megan, that compromising P video. After Milagro Grams allegedly did this act, they are saying that it led to a firestorm of negative reaction from different people on the internet. They are also accusing Millie of doubling down on sharing the video in a video she did June 9th, claiming that Megan was a professional victim and also denying any wrongdoing. They continue by saying the defendant is wrong. Her conduct was unlawful promotion of an altered ex depiction, which actually caused Megan Thee Stallion severe emotional distress and reputational harm. They're saying that Megan has repeatedly tried to stop Milagro for her misconduct and asked what it would take for her to stop posting on her pages. Megan Thee Stallion is accusing Millie of responding to her pretty much saying just get over it or go away. They also said that the defendant Millie also willfully and maliciously promoted that video without Megan's consent and they're accusing Millie of knowing that it was fake pretty much AI and it was a fake depiction of a P video okay. So sorry guys I can't say the word that I want to because of YouTube, but y'all get the gist. Now, where have we seen this before? We've seen this with Cardi B and Tasha K. The reason I'm pointing this out is because we see that reoccurring word malicious, right? We know that defamation of character is extremely, extremely hard to prove, especially if someone is saying that it is their opinion. However, when you include that malicious act, right, this is a whole subset to the lawsuit because this pretty much says that Milagro maliciously spread the information. Whether that information is true or not, because it was in a malicious way, right, those rules and regulations when it comes to the alleged word word, opinion word, do not apply because she did it with malicious intent, allegedly. Again, this is what Megan's lawyer is telling the court. For those of you guys who don't really know what defamation of character is or how to prove it, here's a little example. So in order to prove defamation of character, right, they need to prove 
the following. A false statement was in fact made. Statements of opinion or parody cannot be grounds for defamation claim. Additionally, truth is an absolute or complete defense to this accusation of defamation. They also need to prove that a third party heard or read the defamatory statement. The reason this is important is because they're saying that Mob Radio posted it to social media for people to see, okay? More than one person. There is also the claim that the defendant who defamed you was either negligent or acted with actual malice, okay? Now, the negligence standard applies if you are a private figure, right? The actual malice standard applies if you are a general or limited public figure. So the reason we see again that word malicious is because Mob Radio, right, is a public figure as well. And then finally, you do have to prove harm. So this is a very sticky situation. However, Millie did come out to confirm that she got some type of notification from Alex Spiro, Megan's lawyer. And we also saw Megan the Stallion reach out to Daily Mail. This is what Megan said, and then we'll follow up with what Mob Radio said she received from the lawyer. So let's go ahead and read Megan's statement, and then we'll get into Millie's post. So Megan told the Daily Mail this, I've endured countless attacks on my character based on false narratives from social media blogs misrepresenting themselves as journalists. She goes on to say this, it is unacceptable behavior and these individuals need to understand there will be repercussions for recklessly posting lies and defamatory falsehoods. Now, Millie said in her tweet, I have been informed that I'm being sued by Alex Spiro on behalf of his client, Megan The Stallion. She also said they threw in the tape too. She then followed with another tweet, the counter suit gonna go crazy. Now y'all, this is just a hot mess and it's almost interesting to see that celebrities are really pushing these lawsuits. We don't really see celebrities, right? Especially in the urban culture, come for white media outlets, right? But when it comes to like more of the small urban blogs, this is where we see celebrities, right? Really attack these people. And oftentimes I believe in my opinion that is misrepresented anger, right? I gotta get somebody for the things that are being said to me online. Now, Mob Radio did go on Station Head earlier this morning to respond to the lawsuit. And she pretty much, stood 10 toes down and she kind of talked about how she feels Megan Thee Stallion may hate her allegedly. So what happened? Well, I got a message that, um, you know, on the behalf of Megan, I was going to be sued for all of these different things for years. You've done this and you've done this and you've done that. So yeah, girl, we coming for you and we want you in court. No, that's it. What I want to say at this point is anyone, because I've been contacted by every outlet known to man at this point, except TMZ, who lied and said they reached out to me. I've not heard from you. But uh, for every outlet that's waiting on a statement from me, nothing that I'm going to say during this live is that statement. All official statements will come from my attorney. Okay. So what I'm about to give you is my thoughts on what's been presented, and we'll talk about that. But nothing that I'm about to say is an official statement on this situation from me. Do you have that understood? So they said, when did you get served? Okay. So, um, yeah, my attorney will give you the official statement. Okay. That's that. So, so moving along, um, I found out about the lawsuit, and we'll go through it, but I found out about it, and then after that, what happens? I go online and I post about it, because I know that people thought they was going to have a moment, and they was going to come online, exclusive, da-da-da-da-da, child, it ain't, it ain't nothing to it, child. Yeah, I've been waiting to die. I get online. We trending, last time I checked, number 10 in all of the United States of America. And why were we trending number 10 in all of the United States of America? And I'm finna pull it up and make it real for you. Why was me by myself trending? Because all the people that pretend like I do or who I am, they came out the woodwork to celebrate. This, this was the big moment. 
Do y'all understand that civil things are not criminal, that no one's going to jail? Do you understand that this has no bearings on me being able to do what I do every damn day and that nothing will change? Someone is upset and someone filed the lawsuit. You have a right as an American to do so. So y'all thinking that, you know, oh my God, uh, you know, she's about to be crippled. I, I see people telling me they hope that everything is taken away from me. They hope my life is horrible. And I'm just looking like, nigga, what? Do y'all believe in God? What y'all so scared for? What y'all so nervous for? What y'all, what's all of this about? And then people mad at me because they saying I'm acting unbothered. So look you guys, what do I think about this? Well, there is no proof, okay, from my opinion that Tory Lanez put Milagro Grams up to anything in regards to the trial because it was just so many gray areas. What do I think about this? It's a new era in blogging, right? I think it's unfortunate that a lot of these blogs are being silenced, but I also think it holds bloggers accountable. What we can say, what we can't say, right? thinking about the place that we are coming from when we're reporting. You guys know there's going to be more on this. I wanted to give you guys a quick synopsis and let me know what you think about it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and we'll talk soon. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. Bye!